Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at how to get this What's Minor M30S Plus ready for immersion cooling. Now, it's not so cut and dry. It is a little bit harder because the information is not so readily available. But this What's Minor M30S provided by BT Miners, it has a custom firmware on it, which makes it a little bit harder. And there's no way that I can see that you can extract the firmware off of it, kind of like a GPU where you can back up the original BIOS before you mod it. So we're going to have to flash over it in order to get it ready for immersion cooling. Now, while What's Minor has its website and be careful there are a lot of fake uh, what's minor websites out there pretenders does have official firmware you could see on here if you pay attention to my previous video that the firmware version is dated for july 12 2022 when the bt miners one i have is from august also it doesn't do anything to prepare your uh you know your asic for immersion cooling and there are users or places out there which is nothing wrong with it that actually will provide you firmware, but they're gonna take a cut or percentage of your hash rate. There's an actual uh, amount that so you have to look at some of the documentation. And they probably have very good guides. They actually do have very good guides when you look at the documentation available for users. But What's Minor does remind people that they do have liquid cooling firmware for free. And all you gotta do is join their official telegram. Now it did take a minute to get a hold of somebody who did provide us the information but I wanted to make sure I go through all my paces and it seems here I'm not the only one that had issues. Uh, for example, even though this is an M20, this user specifically says that they were having trouble with fan error, fan speed error. Obviously when you're immersion cooling, you gotta take your fans off. And so the OP or the original thread poster did advise them, hey, you might have the wrong firmware loaded. So I was able to find the firmware and it says here in the instructions that we're gonna need an internet connection. We need to upgrade the miner, upgrade the power, or switching power fan operation will result in the expiry of the miner and all accessory warranties. Now, I don't believe I have a warranty on this, but upgrading to liquid cooling firmware steps is upgrade miner, upgrade power, close power fans. All we need is an IP connection and a particular program, which I have downloaded already. And we're gonna go ahead and install this guy and go through the steps. So here we are, tools on startups. Here's the instructions that I already copied over to that notepad. And we're gonna go ahead and plug in the ASIC and try to get this thing ready for immersion cooling. All right, things are ramping up using the original What's Miner tool 8.1.30 from May 20th, 2022 release. I can see the miner. We could hear it ramping up. And if we want to check the temperatures, because it is a cool night right now, it's around 87 degrees Celsius, a high of 91 as fans kind of level out. So we're definitely talking to it and we can reach it over the network. Now I'm going to go ahead and shut down these applications and open up the air liquid one that we had originally. Now, obviously the first thing after that first message opens up, we want to go to minor IP and then we need to plug in our IP range and then click add, then okay. As the fans get louder, we got the IP range in there. Now we just need to let it locate and we got to find the minor. Give it a minute, there it is. All right, we found the minor. Now we want to select that minor and according to the instructions, I believe we want to update miner first. Let me double check here. We want to upgrade miner first and then upgrade power and go from there. So upgrade miner, I'm going to go ahead and hit that. A miner firmware is not the server version. Please upgrade the server version first. Click OK. All right, when I hit OK on that, it did go and try to find the latest miner, the normal one. So we're gonna update that one first. It's transferring. I did went ahead and manually downloaded the firmware from What's Miner, but it looks like it's going to attempt to do it. There it goes, it's quieting down. And so we need to upgrade Miner first, then it's gonna to upgrade to the liquid version, and then we need to upgrade power. We're in the middle of an update right now. Uh, it just restarted, but now it's ramped up. 
it says status, wait, work. So it's still upgrading in process. Once we're back online, we're good to go. Then we can move on to upgrade power. All right, running. Let's give it a little bit. Let's check it in awesome miner. Make sure everything is good. See where it's at. And then we'll switch over to upgrade power. All right, so it updated to the version it wanted. So when I hit upgrade miner now, it already says miner FW is latest version. So now we're ready for the second step, which according to our notepad is to upgrade power. So let's upgrade power now. All right, are you sure you want to upgrade firmware and selected power? The warranty will be cleared after successful upgrade. We're gonna hit okay. And now it's gonna be transferring again and updating. This is where the system might power cycle. All right, it says failed. Let me uh, restart the device. Oh, there it goes, trying again, status running. Be a little bit patient with it. Might go through a power cycle. And then after we're done, we should be able to click close fan. Damn, the fans alone pull 160 watts. That's just the fans. That's not even the ASIC actually doing work. The fans alone do 160 watts, that's crazy. So I ran into a little bit of a problem, um, and that is when you click upgrade power, which is the second step, it tells you, are you sure you wanna upgrade firmware of the selected power, the warranty, will be cleared after successful upgrade. You click OK, it says transferring, and then it fails automatically. What that is, is it already has the firmware update for the power supply. There's two firmwares. There's firmware updates for the hash board itself, which is what upgrade miner is, and then upgrade power is the firmware on the power supply itself. So there's actually two firmwares on this thing. So the last thing we need to do is click close power fan, Again, it warns you about the warranty period will expire if the fan is turned off. Are you sure you want to turn it off? We click OK. Make sure to turn off the power fan of the selected miner. We click OK. All right, and there it is. So it, when you did that, it actually turned the miner off. So we're going to flip it off and we're going to keep it off. Let me go ahead and do that now. Because we do not want that power supply running with no fan on it. That thing will cook up real quick. So now, software-wise, firmware-wise, this thing is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug everything. And in the next video, we'll actually do a teardown of this ASIC, all right? But right now, that's the steps to get it prepared for immersion cooling. Um, if you need help with it, I'll share it with you. Hit me up Discord or um, on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's available, it's out there. You just gotta get it through Telegram, air to liquid uh, program. Again, as soon as you open it up, it has everything you need in there. It gives you all the steps. You just follow, follow it, find your IP, uh, look for the miner, select the little checkbox, upgrade miner, wait a little bit, it's gonna reboot twice, upgrade power. Um, if it needs the firmware for the power supply, it will go through the process warning you along the way, reboot again, and then once it reboots, uh, close power fan to turn off the power supply fan, and then just do a tear down and you should be good to dunk. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for bearing with me and through all the noise there. Uh, that's why I'm going to immersion cooling. Not only is it hot in Florida, but that noise is very uh, disturbing for my wife. So do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date. So I'll check out links in the description and I will catch you guys in the next one. Let me go ahead and turn off this uh, exhaust fan as well. And there we go, quiet. Ready for immersion cooling. Once I tear it down, We'll bring you back in that next video.